Really, really, really simple song. The introduction is going to be a series of major thirds just moving up. You're going to start here on a G and a B. From there, you're going to go to an A and a C sharp. You go to a B and a D sharp next. C and E. D and F sharp. And then you end at E and G sharp. So your intro should sound like... That's the intro to this song. Now your main synth line in the right hand, you're going to want to think of it as having two parts. The first part gets played three times, and then the second part gets played once, and that makes up your loop of four times through, or like four measures, I guess, if that makes sense, that you just keep on repeating for the entire song. Uh, again, it's based off a series of major thirds. Uh, your first part, like I said, that gets played three times, the first measure that gets played three times, uh, you start here on an A and a C sharp. You go to a C and an E, D and F sharp, E and G sharp, B and D sharp, A and C sharp. You play that three times, and then the last time you go. That's an F and an A up there. And then you come back to the E and the G sharp. So your loop in the right hand is slowly. So on and so forth. And then what I've done with the uh, the vocal sample or whatever it is that comes in, what I've done is I put that down in the left hand. Uh, you do have one loop for the vocals. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, the only other time it switches up from the loop that I'm about to show you is when Earl says, "At the rate I'm moving, you're going to have to get used to me." It's right at the very beginning of the song. The vocals go A, C, E, D, C, B, and then you're back into just the right hand going by itself. So putting that together with the right hand, you should get something like this. Ash. So putting that together with the right hand, you should get something like this. So on and so forth. Now your main vocal loop that happens uh, two or three times during the course of the song, uh, the first measure it just follows the lower note of the major thirds that you're hitting. So it goes A, C, D, E, B, A, A. After that, you hold A for one measure. The next measure you go C, D, E, and then the me excuse me, C, D. That's the third measure in the loop. And then the last measure is E, B, A, and then it falls out again. So putting together your vocal loop, actually I'll run it through one time. So putting that together with the right hand we used earlier, you should get something like this. so on and so forth. And that's Molly Wapped by Earl.